we're not only talking about events and mass gatherings that are being cancelled. We're talking about the haram, yani the, the, the city that never sleeps has finally come to a pause. And we're having masajid around the world that are saying, Sallu fi buyutikum, pray in your homes. It's madness, Sheikh. It is, but we have to rise to the occasion and face reality. I can confess that at the beginning, when I heard about Corona, I thought it was being a bit exaggerated. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, this thing is going to die down and so on. And, you know, there are a lot of conspiracy theories and so on. But when we started seeing the impact on the ground, then I said, you know what, we as leaders should be saying the right thing. And, uh, you know, people are panic buying. People are... Yeah, the toilet paper's gone mad in Australia. Shelves are completely cleared. It's, it's crazy. You know, it's actually prohibited to go to the masjid when you know that you are you could be affected. Because to, you know, to affect a fellow human with a disease or with a virus of this nature, its prohibition is far greater than you know, anything else because you have to save life. Remember, if a person's life is at stake, they're actually at some point allowed to consume that which may be prohibited otherwise in order to save the life. The reason is the prohibition of that thing is not as bad as the prohibition of the loss of life. So those people who think, well, you know what, I'm pious, I've never missed my Jum'ah, I know I do have a bit of a cough, I know I do have, but let me just go. They're actually perpetrating something heinous, very, it's a major sin, actually. You know, there was a brother in one of the Middle Eastern countries where he, he, he was in quarantine in the hospital. He disappeared on Friday at 1 o'clock. He came back at 2.30. They told him, where did you go? He said, I went to Salat al-Jum'ah. And he had the virus. And, and it's just a shame that people think, no, how could you say this? This is Jum'ah. But you know what? It has happened in the past. And it's not going to be the last time. It's going to happen in the future. This is where all the rules and regulations come in. Mufti, I guess it all comes back to the importance of having that knowledge. Like it's not enough to just have good intentions because you think you're doing something good, but without the appropriate, the right knowledge, you could in fact be committing a grave sin. And that's the scary part about it. And just on that note of knowledge, there's a lot of talk going around that coronavirus is a punishment from Allah. How should Muslims, you know, confront this allegation? I think it's quite clear that anything that happens if it were to bring you closer to Allah, it's actually the mercy of Allah. And if it were to distance you from Allah, perhaps it may be a punishment of Allah. So uh, if you take a look at uh, the Sahaba radiallahu anhum, during their time, there was a plague. Does it mean they were punished? The answer is no. So they, there were rules and regulations in place. And they, it was their time to be tested. Are you going to follow what Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have laid down or are you going to do your own thing and some of them passed away and so on and you know in fact many people died mm. it doesn't mm. necessarily mean that it was a punishment for mm. those who were driven away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or who became oblivious it could have been but to be honest anything that draws you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not considered a punishment it's actually a gift of Allah subhanallah I guess you reminded me I think just last night, and I think for the past two nights, one of the imams in, in the local area, he's been doing uh, qunut, uh, the dua, after the, the final rak'ah in the salah, and he's calling upon Allah, asking for his help. And I guess this is a sign that if this is what you're doing in this time, then I guess from what you're saying, it can't be a punishment because it's bringing us closer to Allah, allowing us to return to Allah. And I guess that's what all Muslims right now should understand.